You're looking for a small flavor chasing, nice flavor testing RDA? Stay tuned. Hobbit RDA by Focus eSig. Check it out. Alrighty then, welcome back YouTube. Thanks for watching another review. Um, not going to be a whole lot to this one today. Just a little RDA that I've been using for eh, quite a while now. Um, year, year and a half. Uh, Focus eSig Hobbit RDA. I don't know where the box is, but you're not missing much other than the fact that this came in a box with a little piece of cellophane around it. And it actually came like this. Did not come with the drip tip at all. Didn't come with any spares. I think it came with some you know, little shitty coils uh, that you were supposed to put in this thing. Um, but really, that was it. This is a very simple RDA, and I'll go ahead and show it to you. Um, 17 millimeters in diameter, and this thing's like 26 millimeters high. I mean, it is nothing. I mean, compare it to the Pico uh, RTA, which is a 30 millimeter tank. I mean, like, it is. The bottoms are level right now. You can't see it on camera. But, yeah, this is like a 25, 26 millimeter tall tank. Uh, what I've been using this for is taking it to um, juice shops and whatnot to test out flavors. And it just really works great for that because this thing's got such a reduced chamber, and I'll go ahead and show that to you in just a minute. And it just really replicates flavor very well. I've been using this big-ass drip tip on there, but it eh, makes e uh, dripping easily easier. So just like any other RTA, or RDA rather, it's got a little deck down there. And you see right in the front, and forgive the, the sloppy coil, it's seen better days. Fairly decent uh, air hole that feeds up all the way, and I'm not sure if you can see it on camera. Kind of just make it out. Feeds up right underneath the coil. And you do a standard horizontal coil, pass your wick right through it, and if you look at the deck, there are a couple of little tiny uh, indentations that I've actually got the wick going into. The bottom of this um, RDA is not all airflow. That's just a little tube that goes straight through and up the center, up the center of the uh, device toward the coil. The rest of it is a juice well. This thing holds about yeah, half a mil, quarter of a mil, something like that of juice on top of whatever you can get into your wicks. Uh, in this, I've got a, what do I have? Turn this on. About a 1.1 ohm Clapton, and it's uh, a twisted uh, 2838 Clapton. Just got some cotton running through it, you know, standard horizontal build. And, uh, you know, you've got this little sleeve here, and what you're going to want to do after you do your build, and it's your standard uh, top screw deck, you know, wrap the coils around the screw, screw it down. Not really difficult to build at all. Tiny, so I mean it's kind of cramped, but I mean, not that bad. Line up the air hole on this. There you go. With that, you get your top cap, pop it on, and you're ready to go. Once you juice it, and the top cap does pop off fairly easily, and just exposes all that stuff for easy juicing. So let's do some easy juicing here. And it does hold a surprising amount of liquid. Let me pulse that a little bit. For such a little tiny coil. Or a tiny RDA, rather. There we go, that ought to be plenty. Pop her back on. And I don't want to fry myself, so let's uh, drop this down to respectable 25 watts to start. And see what she does. Great mouth, the long tank. You could do a direct, a long inhale uh, off of it if you want. Kind of tight, then. Um, you know, I'm going to bump that up a little bit. That 25 just ain't cutting it. Let's try 30. There we go. Much better, much better. 
and like I said, this is great for uh, testing flavors because it is such a small chamber that's in there. I mean, let me pull this top off. The chamber here is literally that big. That's it. And did I drip? No. So it really compresses flavor, and if you use a coil, something similar to what I've got, or any type of clapping in this thing, and they'll work. A little bit of extra finagling required, but it'll work just fine. You're going to get some damn good flavor out of this thing. And a surprising amount of vapor. I mean, this is more than a 1 ohm coil. 1.1, roughly. And because it is much, uh, such a small RTA, or RDA, geez, I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, because it's so small, you are going to uh, generate a lot of heat. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. So if you've got a crazy-ass exotic uh, coil like this in there, and for this it is a crazy-ass exotic coil, you're going to generate heat quickly. And even though I've got a clapping in this, I'm still vaping off of that juice that I dripped. I mean, you saw how much I put in there, and it's still going through it. Um, this coil, as far as I can tell, is still soaked. I mean, it's not just wet, it's soaked. This thing has a pretty respectable sized juice well for what it is, and uh, I love this little thing. I used to use this all the time on the iStick Mini. It was just a phenomenal match for it because the iStick Mini, from the uh, pin, uh, 510 pin rather, to the front of the device, was almost exactly 8.5 millimeters. This is a 17 millimeter device, so it sat exactly 8.5 millimeters off and sat perfectly flush with it. Uh, on the Council Vapor Mini Volt, I mean, you get a little bit of underhang, but it, it's, it still looks pretty sleek. And you know, I take this into a shop, and, it, and it's a tall piece. You know, people like it. Not bad at all. I mean, it's great, really great for mouth and lung hits, especially if I just close that airflow off about halfway. Beautiful. Something that uh, has to be said about this, though, it's a pain in the ass to build on, but it's not difficult. It's just so freaking tiny. Uh, so you're going to need to get your glasses or something out because uh, you've got your work cut out for you putting a coil in this. If you're doing something like a 26, 28 gauge uh, regular coil, stainless steel, canthal, whatever, yeah, no worries. Wrap your coil, have your leads going opposite directions, wrap one end around, screw it down, tighten it, wrap the other end around, screw it down, and lift up your coil so it's not touching the deck or the posts. Boom, you're done. Clapton, a little bit more complicated because it's a thicker, heavier wire, or anything like a 24, 23, 22 gauge, anything like that, is going to be uh, a pain. I don't even know if you can get a 22 in this, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, this Clapton, which is about as thick as a 23 gauge, is about it, I think. Um, you're certainly not going to be able to get anything like an alien in this thing. And for as small of an RDA as it is, it actually holds a surprising amount of juice in it, and uh, yeah, I'm really, really pretty impressed with it. Now, this little bastard's starting to get hot as I was uh, adjusting the airflow back all the way open. It's a metal tank. It's going to get hot, so just kind of keep that in mind. It's not scorching hot, but I am only running this at 30 watts, so... That is what it is. And you see how long this juice is lasting me in there, even at 30 watts. Might have a little hint of a dry hit there. Yeah, I think those wicks are finally starting to dry. Oh, huh? no. And it just goes and goes and goes. I think, like I said, it holds approximately a, a quarter to half a mil inside of this. And at 30 watts with that tiny little wick, that's plenty. Now, when you're building this, you don't have to trail those wicks down into the uh, juice well holes. You can just have little tufts sitting off to the side and resting on the deck. And that's another way to do it. That way, you don't have to do what I'm doing and sit here and plow through all the juice. You know, or just don't do what I did and drip the hell out of it. But I did that to make a point. This thing is not leaking at all. 
because the juice wells that are over here and on the other side, and it wraps all the way around, is completely separate from that little tube that leads up to the chimney. That's genius. It was a genius design. I mean, this thing came out like at the end of 2013, early 2014. And uh, it's a bottom airflow RDA. You're just starting to see those right now, and the, you know, really, really come out in force with the Kennedy, Tsunami, you know, all these other guys who are, are doing it now. It's been out. Granted, that's a freaking teeny tiny hole, and it's made for a mouth lung inhale. But, hey, it is what it is. Man, I think it's starting to dry out now. Yep, it's getting dry. All of that just for it to start to get dry. I could probably take another good two, three, four good hits off of this. There, it's a little dry right now. Um, not much else to say about this. Awesome, awesome little flavor testing RDA. Uh, I know uh, most shops, they'll let you go ahead and drip if you've got your own RDA. And I mean, you don't want to put something like uh, an alien clapped in with you know, six pounds of cotton inside of it uh, into a goon or whatever and take it up to your shop and then have to put half the bottle of the juice in there just to get the thing to wet properly. This is a great option. Put a smaller coil than I did in there. Put, a, like I said, a 26 gauge, five or six wraps, something like that. Maybe seven, eight, nine wraps. Come out to one of them. Put it on a little micro mod like this, you know, the Council Vapor Mini Volt, or the iStick Mini. The iStick Mini, you know, the 20 volt version of it, or 20 watt rather version of it, uh, would be perfect because it'll fire down to one ohm. You know, build like a 1.2 ohm coil and fire that thing at 20 watts and see how it works. Perfect. Your battery real life is going to be good and the RDA is going to perform admirably at that temperature. I mean, this crazy build, I'm only running it at 30 watts, and it's running, like, great. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Uh, I'm going to post a link below to this uh, on Fast Tech. That's not where I originally got mine, but I know they carry them, and I think GearBest has them as well. I'll go ahead and post the links to where these are uh, as I can find them. They're cheap, I and mean, they're like 7 or 8 bucks. I mean, these things are steel, and it's an awesome, easy but finicky RDA to work with, just because the deck is so damn tiny. Nothing else. Uh, if you're passionate about vaping, if you like vaping, if you want to continue to vape, support advocacy. Uh, and that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to donate money. Just you know, join CASA. You know, visit Not Blowing Smoke. Take a look at some of the other resources and links that other YouTube reviewers have. Um, contact your representatives and tell them that vaping changed and saved your life. You know, do what you got to do. If we want to keep vaping, we got to stick together on this. And if you can support advocacy financially with even a dollar, go ahead and do it. Uh, if not, no biggie. Anyway, I'll go ahead and leave you with that and let you carry on your day. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.